In the year of 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, took us on an unprecedented journey across the cosmos, capturing spectacular visions of the universe like never before. The JWST's advanced technology allowed us to explore galaxy clusters, a supernova remnant, and even gravitational lensing. It showed us a vibrant dance of star formation and delved into the mysteries of our own solar system. Each image, more stunning than the last, revealed something extraordinary. But above all these, there was one discovery, one image that stood out, something that redefined our understanding of the cosmos. And that image was, well, my dear listener, all in good time, you'll find out soon enough. Hey there, curiosity explorers. I'm your resident knowledge guide, Caesar, and we're ready for another dive into the unknown. With me is the brilliant and insightful Sonia. Are you ready for today's deep dive, Sonia? Absolutely, Cesar Chagas. Hey there, fellow explorers. I can't wait to uncover another cosmic mystery with you all. That's the spirit, Sonia. And remember, folks, your journey with us doesn't have to stop here. Spread the word about our explorations by subscribing to the Curiosity Wonderland, leaving a comment, and sharing our episodes. Your engagement fuels our curiosity, and together, we'll unravel the mysteries of the universe one episode at a time. Let's set the stage, folks. We're talking about the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. Now, you might think that we've been in the JWST era for ages, but the truth is, our greatest space-based observatory is less than two years old. It took off to the stars on Christmas Day of 2021, but it needed half a year of deployment, commissioning, and calibration before it could start its main mission, full-time science operations. And it's been a cosmic workhorse ever since, hasn't it? Absolutely, Sonia. Since July of 2022, the JWST has been revealing the universe in a whole new light, with unmatched resolution and the ability to view the cosmos across different wavelengths. Its first sets of images were released in 2022, but 2023 was when we really got to see this remarkable observatory in full swing. So the images we're discussing today represent a year's worth of full-time observation, correct? Exactly, Sonia Gamares. And let me tell you what a year it was. We got to see some of the most incredible views of the universe and made discoveries that almost no one could have anticipated. One of my favorites involves a very distant galaxy we found in the background of the JWST's image of galaxy cluster Abel 2744. Pandora's cluster, right? Right you are, Sonia. This galaxy emitted an incredible amount of X-rays, which is consistent with the presence of a black hole of between 10 and 100 million solar masses. The galaxy itself carries about that much mass in stars. This gave us the first missing link in understanding the connection between black hole and galaxy growth in the early universe. That's definitely a game changer in our understanding of black holes and galaxies. No doubt about it, Sonia. And that's just the beginning. There's so much more to uncover. Let's talk about another impressive view provided by the JWST, the Crab Nebula. Spanning 11 to 12 light years and located about 6,500 light years away, the outer shells of gas are expanding at around 1,500 kilometers per second. That's fast. It certainly is. It's about 0.5% the speed of light. The Crab Nebula is quite possibly the best studied supernova remnant of all time. I remember it was a supernova that went off in the Milky Way in the year 1054, wasn't it? Yes. And today, almost a thousand years later, we see it as a more than 10 light year wide supernova remnant with a young, energetic, spinning neutron star at its core, known as the Crab Pulsar. The Crab Pulsar, right? It's the one that carves out features with its winds and magnetism, isn't it? Exactly. And the infrared views from JWST show us the presence of dust, accelerated electrons, and those carved out features. And there's a mystery about the missing material needed for the progenitor star to explode. The answer may still lie in the JWST data. That's the mass mystery, right? We're excited to learn more about that. Absolutely. And speaking of mysteries, let's talk about the JWST's deepest ever view, the Jade's view. It's a fully zoomable, explorable view of the cosmos with filters and spectra overlaid. I heard it contains the most distant galaxy ever discovered. 
That's right, and there are also candidate objects that could be even farther away. The JWST is helping us push the boundaries of our understanding. On to another incredible picture from JWST, the Orion Nebula. This is the nearest large star-forming region to us in the Milky Way. With JWST, we can see an enormous number of bright new stars still in the process of forming. Can you give us some examples of what we might see in there? Certainly. For one, we can see what's known as Herbig Harrow objects. These are massive young stars that are highlighted by stellar outflows. In other cases, there are protostars, which are still in the process of formation. Then there are young single and binary stars that have already finished forming, and nebulous regions that even JWST cannot penetrate. So there's a lot happening there. Absolutely, and some of it was quite surprising. For instance, we found Jupiter mass objects that are members of no stellar system. A surprisingly large fraction of them were binary objects. Wow, anything else that stood out? Yes, indeed. Using JWST, we also found the most distant gravitational lens ever. At the center of this image, there's a massive compact galaxy about 17 billion light years away. The ring around it with two red spots is actually a single, more distant galaxy. But its light has been distorted into a ring by the gravity of the closer galaxy. Gravitational lensing is quite fascinating. Indeed it is. This is a great example of how JWST is reshaping our understanding of the universe. Now here's something interesting about galaxy clusters. They're scattered all across the universe and grow larger in mass over time. The El Gordo Galaxy Cluster, for instance, is the most massive one known for its time, with over two quadrillion solar masses of material inside it. That's hard to even comprehend. Can you give us an example of what we might see in there? Absolutely. Within El Gordo, there are gravitationally lensed galaxies known as La Flaca, which is Spanish for the skinny one, and the fish hook. Although these galaxies are completely normal, their light is stretched into unusual shapes by the foreground gravity of the galaxy cluster in front of them. It's amazing how gravity can distort our view of these distant galaxies. Indeed it is. And one more stunning feature found in the El Gordo field is the most distant red giant star ever discovered, named Quilur, a Quechua term for star. This is the first red giant star found more than one billion light years away. A billion light years is mind-boggling. How was it even discovered? It was visible due to JWST's unique capabilities, coupled with El Gordo's gravitational lensing magnification. This means we're not just seeing galaxies at these great distances, but individual stars as well. This is a testament to the power of JWST and gravitational lensing. So the future of cosmic discovery is promising. No doubt about it. The JWST is helping us push the boundaries of our cosmic understanding. Moving on, we have another fascinating discovery, the triply lensed supernova H0. Sometimes very distant galaxies have their light stretched out into multiple images due to the effects of gravitational lensing. And in some rare instances, a transient event such as a supernova occurs in that lensed galaxy. This allows us to observe the supernova event on replay in each of the multiple images. Like watching the same show on different channels. Exactly. And this is not just exciting from a visual perspective. It holds great scientific significance too. The quest to measure the expansion rate of the universe today, also known as H Nero or the Hubble constant, has been providing two different answers based on different methods used. And I suppose this supernova might help resolve this discrepancy. Correct. The Supernova 80 provides a potential way to resolve this puzzle over the expanding universe. In the future, JWST should be able to find more of these multiply-lensed supernovae, which could help us resolve the so-called Hubble tension. Fascinating. And what about the dusty secrets within spiral galaxies? Oh yes, the JWST's MIRI instrument has given us a unique view of these galaxies. It highlights and illuminates the dust inside them, showing where new stars are forming. For instance, in the view of galaxy NGC 7496, we can see not only the dust lanes and the pinkish-white regions where new stars are forming, but also brilliant diffraction spikes at the center of the galaxy. Diffraction spikes, what do they indicate? These spikes are evidence for an actively feeding supermassive black hole at the galaxy's center. 
It's another revelation that JWST and its unique capabilities have made possible. Continuing with our cosmic journey, let's talk about the Ring Nebula. This celestial body is among the most famous planetary nebulae known. It represents the remnants left behind when a dying sun-like star blows off its outer layers while its core contracts down to form a white dwarf. So we're literally looking at the last breath of a star? That's a poetic way to put it. Both the NIRCAM and MIRI instruments have shown us fascinating details of the inner filaments of this nebula, which are actively being evaporated away by radiation. The MIRI image reveals roughly 10 concentric arcs outside of the main ring feature that are rich in hydrocarbons. This level of detail inside the ring nebula is unprecedented. It's like peering into the heart of a star's death. Precisely. Now let's move on to another celestial marvel, Saturn's rings. According to JWST's perspective, nothing shines brighter than Saturn's rings. Saturn itself is a relatively cool planet with a cloud and haze rich atmosphere separated into bands by latitude, but it's mostly very faint in infrared light. And the rings are brighter because... The rings are composed of 99.9% .9 water ice, which is even more reflective in infrared light than in visible light. This results in an unprecedented and stunning view of Saturn's rings. In the JWST image, the A, B, C, and F rings are all visible, as are the Cassini division and the Anke gap. So we're seeing a whole new side of our neighboring planet. Absolutely. With the imaging of Saturn, JWST has completed our solar system's family portrait. It's truly a milestone in cosmic exploration. Now let's turn our gaze to Uranus. Though the JWST caught its first view of Uranus in February of 2023, it was in September the same year that we received a truly spectacular view. Seems like Uranus wanted to make a grand entrance. Ha, it certainly did. Nine of its 13 inner moons along with all five of its main large moons were all revealed. We could also see at least five of its rings along with several features on the planet itself. This includes a dense polar cap that fades away towards equatorial latitudes, punctuated by a dark band and Uranian storms roaming closer to the equator. That's a whole lot of detail. Indeed. And with Uranus approaching its solstice for the first time since 1986, these JWST views are providing us with fresh insights that couldn't be revealed by any other observatory. What's next on our cosmic tour? Prepare to be dazzled by a cosmic sparkler. This is part of the first science image released by JWST featuring a remarkable feature known as the Sparkler Galaxy. Identified in early 2023, this galaxy has been lensed, stretched, and magnified by the gravity of a foreground cluster, SMAX 0723. So, it's a galaxy that got a little help from a front and center friend. Yes, and the sparkles most visible in the central image are actually globular clusters undergoing new episodes of star formation. When JWST examined these clusters in detail, it found that they already harbored older populations of stars, shedding new light on how second bursts of star formation can occur inside globular clusters. That sounds like a star-studded revelation about the life cycles of stars. Indeed, it's a finding that adds another layer of depth to our understanding of the cosmos. Next, we have a surprising discovery from the young stellar system Fomalhaut. The JWST found an intermediate belt in this system, a feature our solar system doesn't possess. What's this intermediate belt exactly? It's located exterior to the inner disk where the asteroid belt should be, but interior to the Kuiper belt analog. This is not something we expected to find. So, it's kind of a surprise in the cosmic neighborhood? The big question now is whether this feature is typical of stellar systems, meaning we're the outlier, or whether it's unusual and the Fomalhaut system is the outlier. I guess more data will tell, right? Absolutely. Speaking of data, we're also uncovering more about the most distant galaxies. In 2023, scientists analyzed a series of distant, very red, faint galaxies found in the field of view behind Pandora's cluster, Abel 2744. And they found? They found that at least seven of these galaxies are at precisely the same redshift indicating the presence of a proto-galaxy cluster, the earliest one ever found, just 650 million years after the Big Bang. Earlier than the earliest we knew of? Yes, Hubble had found the earliest proto-galaxy cluster we knew of before, at 800 million years after the Big Bang. 
This new cluster, with a name that's quite a mouthful, A2744Z7P9OD, was discovered by the GLASS collaboration. It showcases the importance of observing many different areas of the sky in the quest for the most distant celestial objects. And these images, these discoveries, they're just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us a peek into the grandeur of the universe, revealing the vastness, the complexity, and the sheer beauty of our cosmos. It's almost overwhelming to think about. It truly is. But the best part is, we likely have another 20 years of excellent JWST science to look forward to. The cosmic story, our understanding of it, is only beginning to unfold. We're constantly pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, exploring what was once uncharted territory. And I'm sure there are still so many cosmic surprises waiting for us. Absolutely. As we gaze into the expanse of the universe, we can only imagine what discoveries the next 20 years will bring. It's a thrilling time to be exploring the cosmos. We've journeyed through the cosmos today, exploring the groundbreaking images and discoveries brought to us by the James Webb Space Telescope. From the detection of a very distant galaxy housing a massive black hole, to the intricate view of the Crab Nebula, to an unexpected intermediate belt in the Fomalhaut stellar system, and the uncovering of the most distant proto-galaxy cluster ever discovered. It's clear that the mysteries of the universe are just starting to unfold. And with the JWST, we have about 20 more years of cosmic exploration to look forward to. We can't wait to see where this telescope takes us next. Yes, the universe is a vast, complex place, full of surprises. As we like to say, space the final frontier. These are the voyages of the James Webb Space Telescope. Love that. And we want to thank you, our curious listeners, for joining us on this voyage. It's a big universe out there, and we're glad to have you exploring it with us. Please blast that like button, leave us your thoughts in the comments, and share this episode with your friends. Yes, we'd love to hear your thoughts on these cosmic revelations. And remember, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll meet you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone, and keep looking up. All these cosmic insights we've shared with you today come from an article titled The Top 15 JWST Images of 2023, written by Ethan Siegel and published on the Big Think site on December 20th, 2023. The full URL is in the description if you want to delve deeper into the subject. Until next time, stay curious.